so let me see um hi everyone this is dawn am i recording <laughs> so i'm testing out a few things today um, i'm on the v13 i want to talk about the v13 i may be talking about uh, the stuff that i'm testing out and the commander pro the x30 and where you can get the commander pro for a very good price if you want it um i do and uh ah, i'm trying to get my glove okay so my insta 360 stick i put um i just put out a video this morning about the new setup with the uh, aluminum case armor all around it and different covers i have for it and stuff like that um, also this GPS, it's making um, the whole thing is bigger and heavier than I'm used to and the wind is catching it more so just now that was, uh, that was, and right now I'm in a wind advisory, should be getting 60 mile an hour wind gusts hitting me randomly here and there so you'll hear me scream and maybe fly off the road. Um, trying to see, I just wanted to talk today, but I figured I would go over here where, oh, maybe I'll, not because people are walking backwards with the stroller. Is that a thing? <laughs> that lady's pointing at me. <laughs> I, I'm over here, is that a thing? Walking backwards with a stroller? And they're over here going, is that a thing? That person is riding a one-wheel device. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, God, there's so much to talk about. Where is he on the left? And I'm so distracted. Um, okay, so... What should we start off with? My Insta360, this setup is heavy, um, but I would get used to it. I could use some bigger biceps. Uh, so I, I'm testing the armor. Um, so if you're seeing stuff because it's not quite invisible, don't worry about it. That's what I'm testing today, and I will make it better invisible um, if that is a problem. Also, I'm testing out the GPS remote, and hopefully it is working. This uh, GPS remote, I got the new one because the old one doesn't work at all. It won't even connect. This one connects well, but the automatic connecting feature is not working. I don't know. It might be me. Um, oh, these V13 pedals, stock pedals suck. They slip on them, and I'm not even, it's not even like they're wet. I almost said I'm not even wet, and uh, then I caught myself because I've been hanging around enough EUC guys. The EUC local guys like to turn everything I say sexual, so I now run phrases in my head real quick before I say them uh, to see if... And they, and they still I, I catch things that I wouldn't have even... Anyways, um... So yeah, the GPS remote, we're testing that. If you can see stats on the screen, then that's good. Uh, we'll check for accuracy, so every once in a while, I'll read out what my Garmin says. Like right now, it should be at 24 miles an hour. Horses! Um, and then you guys can see on the screen if this Insta360 GPS is accurate. And if, um, if this, GPS works well, then that's, that'll be great because that frees up my phone to be able to, uh, so I can listen to music and, um, and also I don't run my battery down and also I can run Strava. Yay. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to this thing working. My gosh, I need to switch hands. My hand is hurting. Ew, horse poop. Um, why are they on the bicycle trail? Jeez. They're in, there's like all this space, squirrel, for them to um, poop on. And then they gotta poop on, uh, never mind. Okay, so Commander Pro. Um, 
Some of the local people, some of the local guys, Liam is making this, uh, he's calling it EC Underground because his name is Liam Un, 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 I don't know, I don't even know how to say it. Um, anyways, Underground, you can reach him on Telegram, email, or something else. I think, uh, IG, what's that, Instagram? Oh, I suck at this. Anyways, um, he can get you wheels for a really good price and still offer one-year warranty. Um, Roger's doing something and I don't know what exactly, I don't know all the details to anything yet. I don't know if the details have even been figured out yet. Um, but anyways, between Roger, whatever he's doing, and Liam, whatever he's doing, there are deals to be had for a very good price. Oh, uh, Roger just posted up, he can get Commander Pro for like $3,200. And then if you want shipping, you gotta send him the shipping label, because he doesn't want to deal with that. Um, so, I don't know, you can work it out with him for shipping, um, but $3,200, um, <laughs> I would definitely be getting the Commander Pro at that price, I, that's totally, I mean, that's, I would say that would be beyond fair, that would, I call that a great deal, and he has five of those available right now. So, um, if you want one of those, contact him. Um, five is going to go quick. I, I already know five people off the top of my head that, that want a Commander Pro. And, um, so, yeah. Check out, uh, contact Roger. Roger will be your man, and Liam will be your man. And please mention my name so that they know, um, I don't know that I do stuff. I'm not here to advertise for them. I am, I want to say that I am a free agent because that is what I like to be. Um, I have been an Amazon Prime official re 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 reviewer for decades and I've also been in quality control and all that stuff so I know the importance of being an independent uh, when it comes to reviews and public trust and all that stuff. Um, it's what I've been doing for years. And plus, it's just my style. Um, I ride alone. I do stuff alone. I like to have very open and honest, independent thoughts. I don't like companies telling me what I can say, what I can reveal, how much truth I can add into things. Um, I like to be transparent and open and the only way for me to do that is to be an independent. Um, now, I am also always looking for the best deals and always sharing that with you guys because I want you guys to be able to have as much fun as I am. So um, anyways, I hope that's clear. That is where I stand. Let me see if I can get around. Hello. No. Okay, you go first. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll go first. All right. So, um, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just on this trail because I haven't shown you guys this trail before and uh, not that familiar with it. Oh, this wind my shoulder into it. Oh. Wind. It just sucks because it's catching my selfie stick, so I'm shortening up on the stick a little bit. Oh. I love this little, like, picket fence. Is this a picket? No, it's not a picket because there's no pickets on it, right? Anyways, um... What's the other thing I want to talk about? GPS speeds. So you'll see that Marty 
Ew, stinky. Oh, this is, I think, Mare Loma. They got cows, and cows stink. Um, Marty always stresses about GPS speeds. I always try to give both because regular displayed speeds are so common everywhere and everybody uses it that it's kind of hard to only give GPS speeds because like this V13 displayed 56 miles an hour is like 50 miles an hour anywhere from 50 52 miles an hour GPS is what they display as 56 um, so you know then what happens is everyone is over here say oh yeah i went 56 60 miles an hour and i'm over here saying oh yeah i went 50 miles an hour and then you guys think that i'm going slow but no i'm giving you the gps the actual speed whereas everyone is giving you some inflated displayed speed um but okay so <laughs> displayed speed is actually so prevalent I mean, it's the same with your cars. It's the same with those speed monitoring thingies um, on the side of the road that tell you that you're, they display your speed and tell you that you're going way too fast. Oh God, there is a bicyclist right in the middle of this path. All right, I will slow down for the bicyclist when I pass. Then I'll see if I have enough room to zoom zoom again. There. Right. So, um, uh, so yeah, it's just uh, all your cars, all your speed thingies, and you can even look it up. Say. Look up, why is my speedometer not accurate? Um, and, and then you'll see all the different reasons. There are many reasons. Little blind turn there. So cars, uh, speed signs that tell you your speed and all that, they're all, it's always about 10, it's about 10% higher than GPS speed. So keep that in mind when you see my GPS speed on the screen and when I give out my speeds I will usually say if it's GPS or indicated. And right now, um, I don't know of any wheel that does 60 miles an hour GPS. And I know there are rumors here and there, people saying this and that, but um, I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to believe anything until I see it for myself. All right, um, okay, so we talked about GPS, talked about the Commander Pro. Um, how does it feel to be back on the V13? So after riding the Commander Pro, the V13 feels harder to accelerate. I, I did it, I mean, I can do it just fine. Right now, this, I, I'm fighting a huge headwind. Um, God, that's why my arm is so far out, trying to push against this wind. Jeez, oh, I might turn around. I don't know. Oh, so <laughs> I was talking about the V13. Um, yeah, the V13. Uh, it felt heavy again. It's heavier than the Commander Pro. Um, it is harder to accelerate than on the Commander Pro. Someone asked me, which do you prefer, the Commander Pro or the V13? Commander Pro all the way. 
Why? Because you've got faster acceleration, better performance. It can, it does better in the dirt, um, on dirt trails. And um, because it feels like a master, just feels like a heavier master. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think it's lighter, it has more range. Um, so I'm looking for a long range reel right now to replace my Sherman Max. And the Commander Pro is my choice right now um, without having tested the EX30 yet. So Ron has the EX30 and we've been on rides with him and he says that it is fast we're not sure exactly how fast it is yet but um he says it's fast and he says it's powerful he says it's a beast um, um i have not ridden it yet i actually i haven't even like uh, the only thing i've done is stand on it and kind of bounce up and down like this that's all. I haven't even ridden it in a straight line in a parking lot. But uh, from that, I felt like it was wide, it was chunky, it felt fat. Um, it was also Ron's wheel, so he had it all set up for him. And he put a really high seat on it. Uh, you guys would have seen that on the Lake Castaic ride. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I didn't like it, but... It would be more accurate to say that I didn't like his EX30. I'm looking forward to my EX30 so I can make it how I want it. And that one should be coming, um, let's see, Millie said it's already on its way over here and it should be arriving by the end of the month. Um, and Liam with EUC Underground um he has one coming oh god i forgot what he said he has one coming uh ex30 i think he said it's arriving on monday like soon soon and then the batteries will be arriving shortly after he's sending it directly to marty for testing first and you know how marty does his whole tear down thing and all that stuff and gives all the details and then um, i'm thinking marty is going to send it over to me and then i'll do what i do on it which is just right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. And then um, we'll see about the EX30. But uh, right now with the Commander Pros, yeah, that's, that's a good buy. Especially since um, they... They know from many sources all the complaints that that uh, we found on it, and they have agreed to fix everything. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. I mean, they're not going to fix stuff. I don't. They're probably not going to fix stuff like the display and the speaker and the headlight. But they're going to fix the problem stuff like the mud guard and uh, the loose wires and stuff like that, supposedly. Um, okay, what was I, I don't know, what I, I thought I was talking about the V13, then I started talking about the Commander Pro, and then I started talking about, hello, what, oh, no problem, thank you, then uh, I started talking about the EX30, and now I don't, oh my gosh, am I lost, have I been here before, I don't know, this doesn't look familiar, now I don't even know where I am, um, what else can I talk about? Oh, the settings on the V13. Why does the V13 suspension feel so stiff right now? Um, the settings that I have on it is pedal softness, to a hundred percent that is supposed to mean you have the maximum pedal hardness although someone did report that they have now fixed that for the v13s where am i and now when it says now it should say pedal hardness 
um, and it should be correct in the verbiage. So I have that set to the maximum hardness. I have acceleration assist at 50 or 53, whatever was easiest to set at. And I have um, brake assist is at uh, zero because I hate the brake assist. Oh, this wind is not being predictable in its strength or its direction. Um, I played around with pedal tilt, leaning it forward at uh, leaning it forward two to three degrees. And I didn't like that. It felt more wobbly when I did that. So, but I like, I like having the wheel tilted forward. So I might play around with that a little bit more. Oh my gosh. What's that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Electric unicycle. <laughs> Thank you. So we went up the stairs. Are we back? So that was 56 mile an hour indicated, 51 GPS. Um, let me see if I can show you on the display here. It should say that the max speed is 56 miles an hour. Uh, and you should have seen 50, 51, something like that shown on the GPS. I'm not using decimals um, just for safety or ease but um and then hopefully that was on video so you can see i w i wasn't really trying to do maximum acceleration uh, like a uh, quickest uh, acceleration i probably should have i don't know i'm lazy but uh, that'll give you an idea of acceleration to the V13's maximum speed, velocity, whatever you want to say. Where is this guy? Oh, he's on. I was like, I thought he was on my lane. He is, but he's going in my same direction of travel. That's why. All right. There we go. Cute little bridge over here. I think there's another. Oh, and. This was at 66% battery as well. Um, I can get you some stats here, just a sec. All right, 66% battery. Uh, GPS says I've only gone like 16.57 miles, um, but they weren't exactly slow miles. Oh, another thing, if you're having braking, um, I don't think I can do it here. If you're having braking wobbles, try not to grab the wheel with your legs when you brake. Instead, use your butt. Do this type of braking instead. Here, 
Let me see if I can get the camera over here. Oops. I call it my butt brake. The butt brake, without touching the wheel, I find to be more stable. All right, ready for the butt brake? Butt brake. So butt brake, instead of pulling on it with your legs. So let's see, let me, let me get some speed. All right, this is pulling on it with your legs. Um, and butt brake. Okay, so those are my terms for it. Don't laugh at me, community. All right, thanks for watching. Hope that this was fun, entertaining, and informative, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.